hi guys in this video i'm going to share with you how to ship from china to nigeria and start a mini importation business if you're new to this channel my name is michael and welcome to michael digital world on this channel i do share tips on digital marketing content creation self-development and e-commerce if you do like content like this do make sure to subscribe and have that post notification bell turned on and do not forget to smash on that like button and without further ado let's get started so the first thing you need to know is what is mini importation. Mini importation simply means you're buying products from another country for the purpose of reselling them in your own country. Meaning you're going to keep a physical inventory of this product. And this video is going to show you all the tips and tricks that you need to maneuver in this market. It's also going to combine the resources of other videos which I have created. So you don't have to go pay for a course to be able to learn how to ship from China or start a mini importation business in Nigeria. So the first thing you need to do is find a platform where you can source for products and there are tons of different websites and platforms that you can find products for your mini importation business or that you can ship from china to nigeria and some of these websites where you can find products in china from nigeria includes alibaba alibaba is a massive online website so there are tons of products that you can buy on this website and it's an english website where you can buy directly from suppliers and manufacturers I have created an extensive video to show you everything you need to know about how you can buy from Alibaba in China and ship down to Nigeria. The next website is Aliexpress. I know you probably know about Aliexpress and how you can shop from Aliexpress. But when you're shopping from some of these online websites, there are some restrictions that you're going to meet along the way, which includes making payments. I have also covered extensively in one of my videos how you can shop from Aliexpress to Nigeria. The next website is 1688. 1688 is more like a Chinese domestic website where Chinese people buy from. But there are also ways in which you can shop from 1688 to Nigeria. Another website in which you can ship from China to Nigeria includes Tabao. Tabao is another website where you can find products to start your mini importation business in Nigeria. And finally, we have Banggood. Banggood is more like a tech version of AliExpress where you can find new techs that are out that you can purchase from China to Nigeria. And there are more of this website. This isn't just rest restricted to this list but I'm going to show you one way in which you can purchase any products from China to Nigeria with ease even with a restriction from Central Bank of Nigeria that doesn't allow you to pay on this website so why should you be interested in shipping from China to Nigeria or what makes it so special that people are buying products from China to Nigeria well there are several reasons why people do so one of them includes that you can find products at a relatively very cheap rate compared to what you find in Nigeria here the next reason is that you can get in touch with a manufacturer and even get customizable goods for your sales. Finally, there are a variation of even trendy goods that you can buy that aren't even available in Nigeria that you can sell and even make money as a mini importer in Nigeria. So these are just some of the few reasons why people ship from China to Nigeria. So but just a breakdown of few of the websites. If you're interested in buying product directly from manufacturers and industry, you're going to get product at a much more cheaper rate than when you're buying from other sites that are tailored to just providing wholesale services and some of these websites where you can buy directly from manufacturers and industry include alibaba.com 1688 and tabao whereas if you are using websites such as banggoods and aliexpress you're buying directly from retailers and the prices which they're going to be giving you is going to have a little more interest whereas if you are shopping from alibaba.com and 1688 you don't go directly to making payments immediately you have to discuss with the seller the best price they have to offer you the shipping costs as well as customization so once you've selected the marketplace the next thing is to find a product that you're interested in and each of these websites have different ways in which you can search for products i have gone in details to explain that in the videos which i have made mention earlier in this video so you can check the link in the description if you're interested in watching that so one of the easiest way to perform search is to use the text function to use image search browse the market section as well as just browse through products in the dashboard section here for example if you're finding a product which i'm going to be using suction cup all you just have to do is input your text in this section and once you have done that you can come to this section and click on search it's going to list out all the products that have the keyword suction cup in them for example we do have one with mugs here and then if you scroll below you're going to see different variations of this type of cups so let's assume that you found one that you're interested in buying just like this suction cup mug here all you just need to do is click on the product and it's going to take you directly to the product page so there are some key information which i'm not going to be mentioning in this video that you can watch in my other video on how to shop on alibaba 1688 as well as aliexpress from nigeria information such as how to find a very good and credible suppliers are also provided there. if i decide to include that information in this video it's going to make this video a little more extensive 
these videos will show you everything you need to know on how to shop on these individual platforms so once on the product page you have some few informations you need to understand here you have the product name which is the name of the product you're interested in buying and just below this you get the prices of the product what this simply means is that if you buy 48 pieces to 499 pieces you get charged 4.39 dollars and if you're buying for 500 to 999 pieces you get a lower price which is 3.95 dollars and if you're buying above 1000 pieces you get a price of 3.75 dollars and just below the price section you get the variation of the cups that are available for you to buy so here if you're trying to buy shoes clothes you're also going to see the sizes in this section on alibaba when shopping because you're buying directly from a manufacturer you need to get in contact with the supplier to help you get a better quote that is why you don't get to see order now immediately in this section whereas on aliexpress and banggood you'll be able to start an order immediately this is because they've already calculated the shipping cost and the cost of the product so all you just need to do is click on the contact supplier section here and then you can send a message to the seller about customization the quantity and the variation of the cup that you want to buy and below this you're going to see the verified supplier information so if a seller is verified you'll be able to see this information here what this simply means is that alibaba has inspected their business to see that they are actually offering the kind of products that they say they offer and they meet the quality and the demand that they say that they can supply to you and below this you get a store rating which gives you more information about the store what people who had purchased from the supplier have to say and this is consistent across each of the platform which has been mentioned you also get information about the on-time delivery rate the response rate and then the main market area of the supplier in this section you get to see the customization for customer logo the minimum order that you must buy before a seller is willing to customize any of the cups for you is about a thousand pieces while for customized packaging meaning if you want a customized box in which you want the mugs to be placed inside you're going to have to buy over two thousand pieces before the seller will customize that for you if you scroll down here you're going to see the purchase details which include the trade assurance the trade assurance simply means that if anything were to happen to your order along the way when shipping it even if it's the supplier's fault maybe the quantity that he supplied you is not accurate or your package damage along the way the trade assurance is going to cover that for you and possibly give you a refund for it you're going to see the payment section where you'll be able to select different forms in which you can make payments on the platform and below this you get information about the product in the product detail section you get the product description company profile exhibition packaging and delivery and then frequent and ask questions just below this you're going to also see a video of the cup as well as the pictures of the products that you are trying to buy so this will help you narrow down which of the sellers are best for you to buy from so one key important thing you need to know is that when shopping on alibaba or any of this platform your strength as a buyer depends on your product research if you go directly to buy from a supplier without making any product research then you're buying blindly and you stand the chance of being ripped off and being delivered poor quality products and one of the ways that you can get rid of this type of thing is to make sure that you chat with the seller tell them that you want a video of the product in action you can also ask them for images that are not in the product description just like an image of somebody holding the product in their hands and another way to handle this is to simply buy a few sample of the product and ship it to nigeria once the product arrives you unbox the product and check the quality of the product if it meets the quality of what you're interested in buying then good and fine you can then make more orders also when shopping from suppliers on this platform because you're buying directly from manufacturers and industries there is something called moq the moq simply means the minimal order quantity which is the lowest amount that you must buy before a supplier is willing to do business with you so the moq of this product is about 48 meaning you must buy a minimum of 48 before the seller is willing to do business with you this isn't totally true because once you start communicating and chatting with the sellers you would actually realize that some of them offer even lower moq you can ask for samples and they'll be willing to sell the samples to you you can also tell them that you're buying for personal purpose and not for the purpose of reselling this will help you get even lower moq when shopping on these websites but there are some of these websites which you won't be able to communicate with the sellers such as 1688 and Tabao. The difference between this website and Alibaba, AliExpress and Banggood is that whereas those ones are meant for international shoppers who want to buy and ship directly to other countries 1688 and tabao are meant for domestic buyers people who live within the country one of the ways in which you can buy from this website means that you have to create an account and creating an account sometimes can cause a lot of headache because once you register you say that your account has been blocked for suspicious activities even immediately after you created an account without doing anything for that which makes it difficult for you to reach out to a supplier and communicate with them because you won't be able to communicate with sellers without 
without having an account on this website but that doesn't mean you can't buy from this website another challenge that i have found when using some of this website is payments making payments on this website can be a huge ass problem sometimes and there are several ways in which you can maneuver this well one of the most advisable way to do this is to simply get a dominisary card you have to go to your bank and enroll for a dominisary account which comes with a dominisary card the problem doesn't end there meaning that if you want to fund your account you have to go and buy dollars from borrow the change before you can fund your dominisary account and this is because the commercial banks in nigeria will not help you exchange your local currency for international currency if they were to do so they will exchange at the official rate which is around 300 plus to a naira sat when making this video which means you have to solely rely on black market rate which is around 700 plus to a naira sat when making this video the black market rate is applicable to any method you choose to use to pay whether it's a virtual card a dominisary card or even a third party logistic company so the next way you can make payments is to use a virtual card the virtual card is an online digital card that has no physical form all you're just going to get are the card information such as the security code the card numbers expiry date and your name on the card and if you're looking for a virtual card that currently works then you can go for cheapest cash but remember you're also going to be making payments in the black market rate so don't expect that it's going to get better even if you're using a dominisary card or a virtual card so once you found a product that you're interested in buying the next step is to make payments and to make payments or even to ship from china to nigeria i love to use chris vick more but you're not restricted to just Chris Vick more alone. There are tons of these websites that are available to help you ship from China to Nigeria. Or you can simply browse on some of the third party logistic companies that can help you ship directly from China to Nigeria. With Chris Vick more, all you just have to do is get an account with them. And once you do have an account, the next step is to go to your dashboard. To go to your dashboard, you want to come to this section where you're going to see your profile. Click on this. You're going to see my order or account dashboard. So click account dashboard. And this is going to take you to Chris Vick more account dashboard. The step for purchasing using Alibaba.com is quite different from the step you would use when purchasing from 1688.com in those videos i have explained everything you need to know on how to use chris Vick more to cover each of these but i'm just going to show you how you can do this once you found the product you need to fund your account but before you fund your account you need to reach out to the supplier get information from the supplier about the quote the total amount you have to pay to the supplier for your goods and this is simple send a message to the supplier by simply clicking on the contact supplier button and once you do this it's going to drop down this section in this section you'll be able to ask the supplier any question you want to ask them about the product and how much it will cost you to ship or the weight of the product so if you don't know what to write or questions to ask then you can also use the templates in this section which some of them include what is the best price you can offer what is the shipping cost do you support customization so these are just few of the questions you can ask so you can also click on the add attachment section to provide them the kind of logos or designs that you want to include on your product and once you do you can simply click on send inquiry so here's just an example of what i meant i was interested in buying a diffuser from a supplier and then in this section you can see that the seller already told me that i have to pay seven dollars per set i decided to negotiate with the seller and the seller was ready to sell it for me at a lower price which is 6.8 per set i also asked the seller to provide me image of the product not just the ones in the description and the seller did so so this can help you avoid situations where you have to deal with poor quality products so with chris vick more if you're shopping from alibaba.com you need to get few informations from the seller all you just need to do is come to the procurement section and in this section you'll be able to see other sites pay supplier so click on this and it's going to take you to the payment gateway where you're going to see information that you need from the supplier so the informations are very simple information such as the supplier name the amount you're going to pay the supplier in dollars as well as the phone number of the supplier so once you've negotiated with the seller and they've given you the amount you can then ask them for the name and the phone number input the amount you want to pay in this section and then the phone number of the supplier and their name and then click on place order but this is after you have funded your accounts with the amounts due but also keep in mind that chris Wigmore charges three percent service fee when you pay a supplier so also calculate that when you're making payments to a supplier if chris vick mall is the one handling the shipping of your parcel from china to nigeria then you don't need to give them any other information chris vick mall will contact the company make payments on your behalf give them an address to deliver the parcel to in china and then when it arrives you'll be notified and then you can then ship from china to nigeria but if your supplier is the one that is handling the shipping of your product then you can just go ahead and make payments if you want to shop on websites such as 1688 and ship to nigeria the step is quite different all you just need to do is come to this section and click on 1688 order and then go to the products that you're interested in buying on 1688 let's just say for example this bag so simply come to this section and copy this url and then go back to 1688 and then paste it in this section 
once you're done click on fetch slash order item and then this is automatically going to add it to your product list so come to this section where you say click here to view and then click on this this is going to take you to the product page on the product page you're going to see information about the product and how much it will cost you to buy a piece of that product the price of the product which was initially in chinese yen in this section here has now been converted to dollars and then you can see the weight of the product in this section if you're interested in buying the product then you can add immediately to your cart when you click on this you're going to see the variations of the products that you can buy it's just like still shopping on 1688 but this time around you're using an extension to shop directly from 1688 and once you've selected the pieces in which you're interested in so i'm just going to put in seven pieces of the product for the first one you can then come here and click on add to cart from there you'll be able to make payments for the product so simply click on this and then come to the section where it says 1688.com order cart and then click on this once you click on this it's going to take you directly to your cart and on your cart page all you just need to do is come here and click on calculate cost and it's going to give you the breakdown of how much you will spend to import seven of these bags to Chris Vic Moss facility. The total product price is about $36 and the shipping fee from supplier's office to China warehouse is around $2. The subtotal is $39 and Chris Vic Moss service charge is around $1. The total amount you are required to pay for this order is about $40. So once you're ready to make payment, you can come to this section and then click on place order. That is if you have funded your Chris Vic Mall account with money before you can do that. At this point, there is no further step that is required. Once you have successfully placed your order, Chris Vic Mall is going to contact the supplier on your behalf and make a purchase. And after that, Chris Vic Mall is going to receive the parcel and notify you when it is available for you to ship from their warehouse. So here we have an order, which is 3DRYS has arrived China. The next step is to assess the quality of the product so this isn't necessary but if you want to get a feel of what the product that Chris Vic Moore has received then the next step for you is to assess the quality simply come to this section where it says logistic click on this and then you're going to get this drop down in the drop down section you want to come to China shipping request simply click on this and then this is going to take you to the China shipping request page on this page you'll be able to see this function which includes image requests so to request one image all you need to do is come to this section and click on request picture and click on this you're going to get this notification saying that image request cost is 0.4 cents note that the moment you request for picture you cannot be able to place shipping order for this parcel it takes about 24 to 48 working hours for picture to be sent to you if you agree to this all you just need to do is come to the section and click request picture and then click on ok and once you have done that you get this notification saying that your image request has been successfully submitted you receive a notification once we upload the image so all you just have to do is wait for the image to be uploaded in this section now once your picture request order has been fulfilled successfully you get notified on your dashboard to view a picture all you need to do is come to this section and click on logistic and then click on china shipping request this is going to load the China shipping request page. On this page, you're going to see the image request. Come here and then click on view image. And it's going to show you the image of the product that you have purchased. So with this, you'll be able to assess just the visual element of the product to see if it's what you wanted that has been delivered your Chinese warehouse supplier. So the next step is to ship this from China to Nigeria. And this is easy. All you need to do is come to the session and click on return back. This will take you back to the China shipping page. So on this page, you can click here to add a new address book. Your address book is where your item is going to be delivered to. So here you can specify your receiver's name, which is going to be your name, your phone number, your address, your city, and then the postal code, which is optional. And then in this section, you can select the country you want the parcel to be delivered to. So once you have filled this information, you can then click on submit to add it to your address book. Once you have added an address, the next step to ship from China to Nigeria is to come here and click on your address. You can add as multiple address as you want. So once you've clicked on this, you're going to get this drop down. In this section, you're going to see where you can select the shipping options that are available for you. They have from expensive and quick shipping options to very cheap shipping options that will take a longer period to deliver to you. I'm going to explain this as we go. So in this section, you can select a pickup office where you want the parcel to be delivered. So they have two outlets in Nigeria. They have the one in Abuja and the one in Lagos. So don't worry, even if you live outside each of these states, you can still get your parcel delivered to you. Because you get notified when it gets to the warehouse and from there you can instruct them to deliver it to any of your location in Nigeria. So select a shipping option which I'm going to select normal shipping GZ and then come here select a location and then come here to click on calculate shipping cost. 
This is going to provide you the cost of how much it will take to deliver this parcel to that location in Nigeria. So here you're going to see information such as receiver's name, receiver's phone number, address, city, country, the shipping method you have selected, the total estimated weight of the product, the price per kg. So for the normal shipping GZ, it costs about $8.5 per kg. So all you need to do is multiply your kg by the price per kg and you get the total amount to ship it to Nigeria. And then if there are delivery fees to a particular location, you're going to see it in this section. So delivery from Lagos to Abuja will cost $3.83 and the estimated delivery time is how long it will take to arrive in their office in Abuja. So estimated shipping fee is $8.50. So but in this section you can see your subtotal which is $12.33 and then the minimum account balance you must have before you can ship this parcel is $9.83. What this simply means is that you can pay $9.86 and they will ship it to that particular location and before you collect your parcel you must pay the difference in balance with the normal shipping hk the price per kg is 9.50 dollars the delivery to abuja is 3.83 dollars and then the estimated delivery time is 14 to 24 days from the day of shipping estimated shipping fee is 9.50 you can see the subtotal and the minimum account balance you must have before you can ship this to nigeria with the sea shipping you must have an order of 10 kg and above before you can ship to nigeria and this is one of the cheapest shipping methods that chris vigmo has to offer you it takes about three months for this to arrive and then the final shipping option that Chris Vickmore has to offer you is the Chris Vickmore post shipping option. The price per kg on this is 3.50. The delivery charge to my location is 3.83 dollars. The estimated delivery time is 65 to 75 days from the day of shipping and the estimated shipping fee is 3.50 and you must have a minimum of 5.86 which has cut down a lot of cost. If you're trying to buy a product from 1688 to Nigeria and the product contains liquid there are several ways in which you can do so. So here it says that please note that items slash products that contains liquid and battery cannot be shipped through normal shipping gz if your item contains liquid or battery please choose normal shipping hk and you can come here and select normal shipping hk you can also use c shipping to ship items that contain liquid as well as chris vick more post but if you're trying to get it down to you very fast then you wouldn't be able to use the normal shipping gz but you can then use the normal shipping hk or anyone that falls below so depending on your budget and how fast you want the product to arrive in nigeria these factors will influence your decision making when it comes to selecting a shipping option so the final step to ship your parcel from china to nigeria is to select the shipping option once you have selected the shipping option you can come here and then click on terms and condition once you have read the terms and condition you can then tick on i have read and agreed to the terms and condition then click here to place order for shipping and then once you're done your order is going to be successfully submitted and your shipping is going to be processed from china to nigeria and on the next page you're going to get a confirmation of your shipping request now on your dashboard upon successfully placing your shipping order you're going to get notified and you're also going to get a notification from your email and then when the parcel has been packed for shipping you also get notified as well as when it has been shipped so in situations where you want your order to only be paid for and you want the supplier to handle the shipping of your product then you can simply just pay for the product but in other situations where you want Chris Vickmore to handle your order you can then use the Chinese address book all you need to do is come to the profile section and you're going to see my China address click on this and it's going to take you to the address book in the address book you're going to have two address they mean the same thing they are not different the only thing is that uh, the first address is in English language the second address is in Chinese language so when sending them an address the best address you should send to them is Chinese because they are Chinese speaking countries so with this you'll be able to send any parcel directly to this address Chris Vickmore is going to notify you when the package arrive at their facility and let you know the next step you need to take when it comes to shipping it to Nigeria so here is another case scenario if you want to shop on websites such as Tabao the process is quite different now the step you need to take to ship from Tabao to Nigeria is simple all you need to do is come to this whatsapp section here and drop a message with the link of the product that you want to buy this is going to take you to whatsapp where you can send messages directly to the customer care representative and then they will provide you answers and steps that you need to buy directly from tabao to nigeria they are going to help you reach out and shop on your behalf also when buying from sites that support customization you can go directly to chat with the supplier on your specifics websites such as alibaba aliexpress and banggood since they are english websites but when it comes to sites like like Tabao and 1688 since creating an account is almost impossible then the best bet is to contact Chris Vickmore to reach out to the seller with your customization specifics or you can also ask them to get you the seller's contact such as WeChat handle 
WhatsApp number so that you can communicate with them directly. So let's say you have successfully purchased a product from China to Nigeria and the product meets the quality you demand and you've already gone to purchase in large quantity to sell. So how do you start a mini importation business in Nigeria? Well, since you have already done each and every one of these, the next step is your marketing strategy. The strength and potential of your mini importation business depends on your marketing strategies and there are so many ways in which you can get people to buy the product you are selling. In this section of the video i'm going to share with you some of the ways in which you can find people to buy your product so the first method is going to save you cost and one of the ways in which you can get this done is by using instagram instagram is an amazing place where people showcase picture visuals and videos you can create an instagram page for the product you are selling and list it on instagram and there are tons of stores that are currently doing this on instagram and are getting sales from this so here is one which sells wholesale products such as more cups and many more and they drive a lot of traffic from their instagram to become customers the next Next way in which you can drive traffic is by using Gigi. Gigi is an amazing place where you can list products for free. Now, one of the limitations you have with Gigi is that if you're listing a product within a category, you can only list three products in one category. So you have to have multiple products that falls within different categories for you to keep listing on Gigi for free. And on Gigi, once you have product listed as a seller, you're going to see people reach out to you and want to buy the products that you're offering. Here's one of the messages which I have gotten. What is the last price you can sell? And to sell on Gigi, all you just need to do is come to this section and click on sell and once you click on sell it's going to load the product information page all you just need to do in this section is to copy the detail from the product page of the website where you're buying it from and then paste it in this section so for the category section you can select the category in which your product falls under so let's say mobile phones and then you can come here and click on mobile phones again and in this section you can upload a picture for the products that you're trying to sell again you can get this picture from the website where you're buying the product from if you do have a link to a video where you unbox the product to provide your audience with more information about the product you are trying to buy, you can leave the link in this section. Once you have provided this information, you need to come to this section and select the location of where you are selling the product. This is going to be easier for you to easily send the product to a person who lives within the same location. So for example, I have selected Abuja and then I'm going to select Guarimpa. So if anybody lives within Abuja and in Guarimpa, it needs to be easier for me to deliver to them because they'll be searching based on location. So once you have provided all this information, you can then come here and click on next. On the next page, you're going to have to provide detailed information about the products that you're selling, such as the brand, the condition, the RAM, this is the mobile phone you're selling, the screen size, the color, the model, the exchange possible, the description, and then the price. You want to add a little bit of money so that you can make interest. And then you can also come here to click on negotiable if you're open to a negotiation from the buyer. You can also come to this section and add a delivery option. And once you're ready, all you just need to do is come down here and then click on on post ads since you're doing a trial for free after 14 days your ad will be taken down and then you can renew it without paying any money but they do have other options if you want to reach more audience and if you want to post more products within a category another marketplace i love to use is facebook marketplace now the reason why you are doing this is that the more you spread your wings the more you are able to reach more audience and buyers that will be interested in buying your product so if you are getting like one message from each platform in a day there's a possibility that out of the four platforms or five platforms that will be mentioned in this video you get sales from one of them so the way this works is that once you're on facebook you want to come to this section and click on marketplace and in the marketplace section you're going to see different products that people who already use the marketplace has to offer that you can buy so to create a listing on the marketplace all you just need to do is come to this section and click create new listing and then it's going to ask you to choose your listing type so item for sale vehicle for sale home for sale or rent so if you have an item for sale what you want to do is click item for sale and in this section it's going to load a preview of your ad so once you come to this section this is where you're going to be filling the information about your product so you can come here add images for the products give a title a price select a category the condition of the product and there is no restriction to the amount of products that you can list on facebook marketplace another website you need to consider when starting a mini importation business in nigeria is jumia 
Jumia is an awesome place. Although it isn't totally free, you need to go through some registration process and paying some dues before you'll be able to sell on Jumia. And the process is quite easy if you ask in my opinion. All you just need to do is come to Google and search for Jumia Seller Center. And then you're going to see these options here. Come to this section and click register to sell on Jumia. You're going to go through a full course on how to become a seller on Jumia. And the course is going to teach you everything you need to know on how you can sell meet your customers demand and other information and once you have successfully registered as a seller on jumia you can then place your products for sale but if you do have money to spare you can also invest into jumia advertisement to help you sell your product and finally the last platform i have on this video is conga conga is another place in which you can literally sell any product you're importing from china to nigeria and it's a good place for you to start your mini importation business to register on conga all you just need to do is come to this website i'm going to be leaving the link in the description and then click on start selling on koga this is going to take you to a create a seller hq account where you need to fill information about your business and what you are trying to sell so with these platforms you'll be able to start a successful mini importation business in nigeria if you're not into the online business and making money directly from these platforms which has been mentioned earlier the other ways in which you can still sell a product, you can reach out to shop owners that sell similar products just like you and give them the product to help you sell. Another platform in which you can sell products for your mini importation business include TikTok and your WhatsApp status. You can make videos about the product and how useful they are, the benefits of using the product and you get people buying. Just be consistent, never give up and you are sure to make money. So thank you guys for watching this video on how to ship from China to Nigeria and start a mini importation business. Business. and I hope you found this video helpful if you did find this video helpful do make sure to subscribe to this channel and have that post notification bell turned on so that you don't miss out on contents like this and I hope to see you guys in my next video